Case 3, the Prison for Women. The Prison for Women, or P4W, officially opened in 1934 and was the only Canadian federal penitentiary for women. The most notable of the newsletters at P4W is Tightwire, first published in 1972. As its name implies, it suggests a dangerously precarious situation requiring the art of maintaining balance. The editors at the Tightwire faced the same problems that their colleagues at other institutions did, in that they had to try to balance two opposing views with little room for compromise. However, because P4W was the only women's penitentiary, there was little prisoner movement, and the newsletter enjoyed some continuity of editors and staff that their counterparts did not. Prior to having their own newsletter, the women contributed on a regular basis to the KP Telescope in a column called Feminine Features. Tightwire included poetry, art, letters to the editor, humor, and sports, as well as a large native section. The artwork on the covers and inside is quite exceptional. The Prison for Women did not have a print shop, and therefore the publications are photocopied and not reminiscent of the earlier telescopes. Producing the newsletter in this way, however, did cut costs considerably and made it much easier to meet the publication deadlines. Law reform was a big topic in Tightwire, and it served to inform the inmates of ongoing changes. Many of the stories featured in the newsletter are intense and deeply personal in nature. The prison for women closed in 2000.